Pasadena for about the last year. And I've been associated with YWAM Pasadena for about two years. But um, Calvin can share a little bit more of uh, what's been happening in YWAM Pasadena and why we're so excited uh, today. Okay, Calvin, could you just take a minute and share that? <laughs> See, I'll just take a half an hour. How much time do we have? I just wanted to share quickly before I share about um, <laughs> just a short half an hour message here. Um, no, the Lord was speaking to my heart as we were um, worshiping Him before the meeting today. And um, I knew that today would be a time of everyone sharing vision. And uh, it's been exciting and thrilling just to see how God is multiplying uh, the Southwest region use of the mission work. And uh, I know it's just exploding now. And, and we're really excited about it. And our hearts are still really here in a real way, even though we'll be moving on to Asia. But um, I was thinking about the visions that we have and realizing that all of these visions have their core, their focus, or their root in God's vision. And um, God began to speak to me what his vision was, and he reminded me of this scripture in Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. And he began to speak to me, Calvin, this is my vision, and all these visions find their, their uh, unction and their, their power in this vision. And that's the vision he gave to John. It says, After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne in front of the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped. God saying, Amen, praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. That's the vision of God. That's what God's looking forward to. And uh, all of us have a part of that. And I think to sum up the work in Pasadena, uh, I would have to say more than a base, Pasadena has been a mission. Uh, it's been a vision that God gave us about six years ago or so. And it's a vision that I believe has, for the most part, been accomplished. God may do more in Pasadena, but I think the things that he spoke to us that, were, that he was excited about doing, uh, most of those have been accomplished. And I had my card with all the notes in here. Oh, that's it. And I, I, I just jotted down a little while ago a few other things that God spoke to us that was, were his goals for Pasadena. The first one was develop good training for long-term missionaries. And I think we've really accomplished that. There's more that it's growing each school, is changing and improving, but I think we've really seen that happen. Uh, good long-term training in a YWAM context, not in another mission agency or borrowing from them but really seeing how does God want to train YWAMers for Frontier Mission uh, to see his vision completed. And, and we see that that has come to fruition. Also, see unreached peoples become a mandate for YWAM. I think we've really seen that happen over the last five years and just the recent Manila conference, that was what was proclaimed that, that uh, unreached people groups is the mandate for reaching unreached people groups is a mandate for you to the mission. And all of us have a part in that, indirectly or directly. And then the next thing was see long-term missionaries trained and sent out. And that's been really an exciting part to be a, uh, a part of. And I jotted down just a few of the countries, and I, I'm sure I missed some, but a few of the countries that we sent long-term missionaries uh, out to from Pasadena over the past five years or so. And I was just going to name off some of these countries. Japan, Saipan, Samoa, Mexico, Brazil, South Africa, Philippines, Belize, Bolivia, Taiwan, 
Singapore, that's us. <laughs> Spain, Thailand, Colombia, Honduras, Chile, and Angola. And so, you know, maybe you haven't heard a lot of the details that have been, you know, that have been going on in Pasadena. But God's been doing exciting things. And I really believe God has accomplished much of what he wanted to accomplish in Pasadena. And uh, I'm, I was just a privilege to be a part of it. And, uh, excited as God sends us on. And uh, we've really sensed this. We've prayed together as a, uh, as a team and the Farlows with us, Molly and Lowell Farlow, that God is really taking that vision that he started and he grew in Pasadena. And he is transplanting that to Singapore. Something that Kevin was going to share, and I don't think he'll have a chance now. <laughs> I don't think he'll have a <laughs> Okay, I'll let him share uh, briefly. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, just had a few things in my heart. But the last thing, <laughs> the last thing I want, I'll just end with this, is that our heart is that we feel that the unfinished task of world evangelization is in a way can be thought of as a, a house that maybe is on fire and we're trying to go to uh, put that fire out and uh, we, we have the opportunity to go out and take a bucket and fill it with water and try to you know do our part to uh, put that fire out or we can go and run and wake up a hundred sleeping firemen and put it out a lot faster and I think that's been our heart in Pasadena is that we would train uh, workers, multiply ourselves, and then go out with them uh, to finish the unfinished task. And so we feel that we have woken up our hundred sleeping firemen and we're going out. I'll just take a minute. Three years ago, Calvin mentioned uh, here at a staff conference some multiplication for his ministry, and that was us get married and it was a neat way that at our wedding uh, we were exhorted to blend our ministries together and um, I served for a year or so here at uh, Lakeview Terrace and helped Dave with some night of missions productions and really gained a heart for media and using it in mobilization and training and when I married Calvin I saw that the need for the unfinished task and had in a sense a second conversion experience and just really seeing why church planning is important and seeing that half the world still hasn't heard. And um, so we've blended our ministries together and we're going to Singapore to start a ministry within Youth with the Mission Frontier Missions called Create International. And it's a acrostic for culturally relevant evangelistic audiovisuals to equip. <laughs> we have flyers on that. And uh, our heart will be to set up a, a major uh, production center in Singapore to train nationals and cross-cultural workers in media and um, cultural research to develop culturally and linguistic audiovisuals for unreached people groups so it will be adapted in the language and culture of the people and it will be for whoever wants to use it, short-term teams, long-term teams and it will be uh, taken house to house, shown in public gatherings so we'd appreciate your prayers for this because we have about 30, 40 requests all over Asia for this, and we have a few people maybe joining our staff, and we've developed a real burden for the Muslim world, and uh, that's a real challenge for us as a mission, and so um, that's what we're going to be doing and forming a team together to encourage each other to just see the task get finished. Well, there in Pasadena, 